What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I wanna to talk about what most people never understand about winning at poker. Let's jump right into it. All right guys, so having played the game of poker professionally for over 10 years and having coached hundreds of students in small and mid stakes games, I can tell you that there are three main things that hold so many people back. They don't understand about how this game actually works because these are three crucial things that are vital to your success at the poker table. And so many people still get this twisted. They get it the wrong way. So let's jump into it. Thing number one that people don't understand about poker is you don't need to be a math genius. Guys, there's nothing wrong with learning basic pot odds, hand odds, implied odds, and so on. In fact, I have many articles on my poker blog and my free poker cheat sheet, the top link in the description below, that walk you through the basic math of the game. But guys, that's really all you need. There's this myth out there that's been floating around for far too long now that somehow you need to be a PhD in advanced probability theory and mathematics and statistics in order to win at poker. It's utter nonsense. Guys, there's many reasons why this is the case. Number one, precision is not important in poker. It doesn't matter if you know that you are 76.2% to win in this situation. You just need to know it's somewhere around 75% or so. You don't need to know the exact math in every single situation. It literally makes no difference because you need to understand that the game of poker is all about the long term. It's all about playing thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of hands. That's how you get the math to actually work for yourself over the long run. And if you're sitting there nitpicking your precise odds in every single hand, you're never gonna get around to doing the thing that actually matters in this game, which is pumping in the hands, which is getting in there at the tables. I've talked about this before, that the number one thing that you'll notice with all professional poker players is they play more poker than everyone else. They're not sitting there calculating math theories on the side, guys. They're in there at the tables doing the thing that matters. And the other thing that studying tons of advanced mathematics does is it just overcomplicates a very, very simple game, which I'm going to discuss a little bit in a sec. Guys, when you're playing in small and mid stakes games, especially, which is what 95% of people watching this video play, you have to understand that the vast majority of your opponents are just recreational players. It's not their job. And, and for many of them, it's just their hobby. It's just something they do on the side and they're not ultra serious. In fact, as I've said before, many of your super advanced high level mathematical theories are just going to go completely over their head, they're going to call you down and you're just going to get frustrated. You're going to actually end up putting yourself on tilt. So guys, I'm not saying you shouldn't learn math. Yes, you should absolutely learn basic theory, basic pot odds, basic hand odds. You know, I read The Theory of Poker by David Skolansky very, very early on in my career. I mean, I, I still recommend it to this day. It is a, definitely a dated book at this point. I think it was actually released 30 years ago or something. I'm, I'm not positive, but and I believe it's about limit poker as well, if I remember. But you know, he points out the basic like how to calculate pot odds and stuff. And I think that every single poker player should learn that stuff. You don't even have to actually read a book. You can just Google it and learn it in five or 10 minutes. It's really simple stuff. Like I said, I have articles on my own poker blog, blackrain79.com that walk you through it as well. I put out my poker math odds cheat sheet a couple months ago, which has been very popular. I'll actually link that up in the description below. But guys, bottom line, don't bog yourself down with tons of advanced math mathematics, you don't need to know that stuff, especially if you're playing in small and mid stakes games, just keep it simple. Which moves me on to misconception number two about poker is that the best poker players usually aren't even the best players. The biggest winners in this game, guys, are the people who get in there and they find the best games, something I've talked about at length on this channel that is sadly still not really mentioned so much these days by a lot of other people. Guys, who you choose to play play against at the poker table is always going to be far more important than any strategy you have or really anything else for that matter. If, you know, and some of the absolute biggest winners of all time in poker, I'm talking about people that have made millions and millions of dollars in this game. They're not household names. They're in there in private home games. They're getting invited to the best poker games in the world and they're playing against billionaire fish. If you actually just want to cut the line and you want to make a lot of money in this game, you don't need need to be the best poker player in the world, guys. And again, you don't need to study advanced math. You just need to play against the worst people in the world who happen to have a lot of money. So as I've said for years, guys, focus on your game selection. It's literally the number one skill in poker. 
these days if making money is your goal. You know, if you just want to be the coolest sounding, you know, poker nerd out there and you know the exact odds in every single situation, then this advice is not for you. I'm talking about people who got into this game to turn a profit. If making big profits is your goal, then the best thing you can do is find the best poker games to play in. And my final misconception, number three, that holds so many people back in poker is that the most simple strategy, guys, is almost always the correct one. I already talked about that earlier on that so many of your opponents, especially in small and mid-stakes games, but even in high-stakes games, if you're using game selection, just like I talked about, so many of your opponents in these games, guys, are going to be recreational poker players. As I've said before, you know, I don't play in poker games unless there is at least one clear recreational poker player, aka Fish, sitting in that game. If there's not one of those people, I don't play in that game. Again, I didn't get into poker to flex my ego, to, you know, be able to sound like the coolest poker guy here on YouTube. I readily admit I'm far from the best poker player in the world. I got into this game to create a freedom-based lifestyle and traveling the world for over 10 plus years now. I'm not interested in wasting countless hours of my time butting heads with other really good poker players. No, I play against bad poker players and almost always the most simple poker strategy, just like I discuss in my free poker cheat sheet, by the way, which will be the top link of the description below, is almost always the correct one. And what do I mean by that? I mean that when you have a big hand, like two pair, for example, you just bet big. You don't get all tricky. You don't try to pull in some sort of 10th level thinking that you saw some high level, high stakes poker player do. And when you don't have anything, you don't bluff. You just check fold. If they make a big bet, you just check and you give up. Guys, poker honestly is a really simple game. And of course, don't tilt when they get lucky against you, which is going to happen. If you can really just get these three things down versus the recreational players, bet big when you have a value hand. Don't try to bluff them and don't get emotional when they inevitably get lucky against you. You just use this simple approach, guys. You're going to have success in this game because recreational players make such large glaring fundamental errors that eventually the math works out for you. They can't keep chasing their long shot miracle draws and expect to win over the long run. So guys, I hope a couple of the tips in this video help some of you serious poker players who are watching this, who are trying to find a way to move to the next level. Make sure you like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And also once again, you can grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. It'll give you my complete strategy to start crushing the small and mid-stakes games. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.